Super Mario Galaxy taking place in space, duh, obviously, means that a ton of new species were introduced here, including boards that can talk. Gilboard teaches an obvious mechanic of wall jumping. C, billboard is by far the funniest pun. S tier, billboard. Okay, it's not really that funny, but I like the name Phil. A, jillboard, it just doesn't have that same ring to it in my opinion. Unbelievable. C, on to our main characters. Rosalina, easy S tier in my opinion, and debatably the best Mario princess. She has an amazing backstory, a great design, and commands a ship. I'm giving the Luma that travels with us a C. I like the spin mechanic, but it was annoying to me in the first game to always have to shake my wrist instead of it just being assigned to a button or having an option for it. The Lumas as a species though, I'll give an A. Polari, now that is a cool design. He predicted the Wii U. A. Hungry Luma. I feel bad for these guys. We just sit here and overfeed them to literal death. I'll give them an A only out of pity. Luma Lee gets an F? I'm not buying into your capitalist bullshit and upcharge prices. Comet Tico. I like the design and he reveals new missions to us, which means more gameplay and since this game is good, th that's, that's good. A. Super Mario Galaxy also introduced us to the Toad Brigade. Leading this group of dorks, of course, is Captain Toad, who would star in his own game a few years later. A damn good game of that. S tier. Male Toad. Alright, where's my 2010s nostalgia gamers who remember when Chugga Conroy brought up a good point? This little guy can carry like 25 one ups, but not drag Princess Peach out of Bowser's castle? F tier. I mean, he's working with the man. Star Bunnies. That's cute, although chasing them sucks. So, A. The Honey Bees. B. Queen Bee. B. Ray's eyes remind me of the Microsoft Clip paperclip thing. It creeps me out. C tier. Coach. He presides over water levels in an already really slow game. D tier. Penguro only gets a C tier because he's old and I feel bad. Penguin Racers. Look at that smug face. D tier. Guillermo's I'm putting an F tier because he presides over quite possibly the worst Mario level in history. Throwing bombs that take like 15 seconds to go off and it's all his fault because just give me like three more seconds. Spooky Speedster. He's a boo with a face mask and makes you race through meat. A tier. Okay. Guppy. Oh my god. Get it. Get it away from me. Put it in D tier. Cosmic Mario and Luigi. I don't know if they count as a character, but I'll put both of them in B tier for the design alone. Bat. It's not Swooper. It's technically new. C tier. Bomb Boo. Now this is a cool enemy. They are boos that you can grab, swing around, and upon impact will explode. S tier enemy in my opinion. Bone Fin. Basically a dry bones version of a shark. I like it enough. B. Clamp B. Literally a clone of the pearly clam clam. Can you believe these guys? C tier. Cluck Boom. Does this look like a Sonic enemy to anyone? B. Crabber. Actually, a well-designed enemy using strategic shield parries to block your spins to have you attack them in a more thought-out way. Octumba. Basically, the Goombas of this game, and there's really nothing more to say. A. Flip Bug. Another well-designed enemy requiring not only a spin, but a jump. These madmen. A tier. Gringills. Eels with giant eyes. Okay, that's gross. F. Goombeetles. Well, you can't jump on these guys, so now you just spin. A for trying to make the gameplay at least a bit different. Ground Urchin. The only way to defeat these enemies is by fireballs. B tier. Ice bats. They're bats. Again, not supers. Bats made of ice. B. You have the little burr. Tiny little ice cubes with faces on them. We've seen this enemy before. B. Same thoughts for the little cinder. Jam o war. I don't even like remember these things in my like multiple blathers to be honest. I guess I'm having a C tier because they left zero impact on me. Jammy fish. These are fine. Not too memorable either, but it's kind of surprising Mario did not have a jellyfish enemy until this game. B. Mandabug. Gee, I wonder how you're supposed to attack these guys. B. Mikey Mines. Okay, why did you name it Mike? Like, it's, it's funny? But why? B tier. Monty. They remind me of the charm on Ultra Soft Bears, so C. And if you don't like that, I'll put you in C tier too. Octo Guys. Rock Shooting Goombas. I mean, that deserves an A tier. Pokey Plants. It's a Pokey. I don't know why this is a different species. C. Pumpkinhead Goomba. Splunkin was better. B tier. Rock Toe. S tier because they are based off of Octoroks from Zelda and that's cool. Sentry Beam. Robot enemies that fire lasers. A tier. Sentry Garage. It's a platform. C. Slurple. Prick you. C. Spiky Top Man. Oh, you think that spike makes you so cool? B tier. Spiny Piranha Plant. I actually like these guys a lot. The spines on their sides mean you need to be pretty strategic to take them out, but they still only require a jump or a spin. A tier. Spoing, little tiny spiders that bounce. Uh, funny name. B. Apparently, if these hang from silk, they're a whole new enemy named the Sprangler. C. Spring. It barely counts as in my opinion. They did the classic Nintendo move of put eyes on it. D tier. Spring Top Man, a pretty novel enemy. B tier. Spring Vault. 
their platforms. C, Top Mini. They can't kill you and are cute. So, A, Trex, they ripped off money bags. Ooh, but it's a new universe, so new species. C, Twister, tornadoes with eyes that fling you upwards. But the name is fun to say. B. Undergrunt, another charming ultra sub looking ass. Ooh, but he's underground now. I don't care. C. Now we got a plethora of bosses, because of course we do. Dino Piranha, a pretty good first fight. I would even say close to as strong as King Babam was from Mario 64. I'll give it an A. King Caliente is getting an S tier. This is one of the best bosses of the entire series. It's basically playing Dennis with a giant octopus. Bugaboom. I don't like this boss. You have to ground pound them, but they often are tilted at a particular angle. C. The Mega Leg is pretty cool. The star requires Mario to climb a big machine making it a pretty fun star, although the top of the head can be a bit annoying. I'll give it an A tier. Kamala's a nice boss. I like when they make a distinct, unique character out of a regular enemy. A. Terran talks. It's gross and the fight's annoying. C. Top Maniac. They spin, you gotta jump, and then you fry them alive. B. Boulder Geist. Now this is a cool boss. This is where you use the boo bombs we talked about earlier. This is an amazing adrenaline booster and a good star. I'll give them an S. Major Burrows. Stop doing this. Baron Burr. Golden here, shut up. A more difficult little bird, nothing offensive or grand either way. B, Undergrunt Gunner. B, Mecha Bowser, another giant boss that's essentially a platforming challenge. It's not as cool as the one from Sunshine in my opinion, so C. King Finn. Okay, that is kinda cool. A tier. And finally, Fiery Dino Piranha. Same as the first one, just a tighter window to attack. I don't know, A.